G'day, this is Mr. Thompson, and in this tutorial, I will show you how to design your own wheel that you can 3D print. Uh, should be a fairly quick tutorial, so let's get started. All right, I'm going to create a sketch, and I'll create a sketch here on this plane here, this vertical plane here, and uh, let's move that out of the way. Um, let's start with a circle. So either click up here or C for circle, uh, click on the center there and release and come out. Let's go 30 millimeters. So let's type 30, enter like that, and then scroll in a bit using my uh, wheel mouse. Uh, sorry, no, my mouse wheel, my mouse wheel. Uh, and I'm going to grab that 30 and I'm, and I'm just going to move it outside the circle so that it doesn't, uh, I want to draw some more stuff inside there. So I'm just moving it out of the way. All right, um, let's put a rim on our wheel. So um, I'm going to use this uh, offset here. Click on offset. Now click on the rim there. And uh, let's see, I want my rim to be minus two millimeters. Minus, because I want the, the rim to be inside that circle that I just drew. And two is the distance, two millimeters in. Okay, click on OK. There we go. I might grab that two and move that out of the way as well. Now, um, C for circle again. And um, the hole inside my wheel needs to be three millimeters. So if I type three and then enter, that's the hole uh, that my axle is going to go through. Now, actually, you know what? I'm going to change that. Let me move this out here a little bit again. Um, and I'm going to, not three, because if I make it three, it's only going to just fit on the axle because our axles are three millimeters. So I might go a bit bigger. I might go 3. Point, oh, 3.3, I guess. 3.3, like that. Uh, and hit enter. Uh, and that'll make that'll just give us a little bit of wriggle room so that um, that wheel hopefully now uh, will spin freely on the axle rather than just fit on the axle. Okay, uh, now I want a hub. So that, that's a hole, remember. So I want a hub around that. So C for circle again. And I'm going to make my hub, I'm thinking about, how does 8 look? I think 8's pretty, mm, maybe a little bit less than that. Maybe if I go 7. Seven, let's do seven. Okay, now I'm gonna make some spokes. Uh, I'm gonna make my, my wheel a spoked wheel. So I'm gonna start by drawing a line. So I'm gonna come up here and click on the line tool or I could have used L for line. I'm gonna start my spoke from, I don't know, in here somewhere. So clicking here and then clicking out. Actually, I'll finish it on that line there like that. Okay, so there is my uh, spoke. And um, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to press escape because I don't want to draw any more lines just yet. Click on the line and press X to make that a construction line because uh, that's the center line of my spoke. I need to now give it some thickness. So I'm going to come up here and do an offset again. So I click on offset uh, and it's uh, it's already selected that line. If you, you might have to select that line like that. Uh, and then I'm going to do two sides. So this is a new feature in the latest version of Fusion that just got upgraded. Uh, I noticed this the other day. So we can do um, offset on both sides like that. And that's one millimeter each side. That's pretty good. That means the total width of my spoke is two millimeters, which is about what I want. So I'm just going to go OK with that, like so. Um, now, actually, one more thing I'm going to do. I'm just going to tidy this up a bit. See that where those lines um, are overlapping there, or I'm going to trim them a little bit. So if I click on the trim um, icon there and just trim that and trim that, um, let's see, did that work? What happened there? Yeah, that worked. That worked. Now escape that line down the bottom there. That's a dimension line. So let me just grab that and move that up to the top there like that. Okay. So those lines now are, are, were trimmed nicely. Okay, that's good. So there's my spoke. Um, now I want to do more spokes, uh, but I'm not going to manually do the spokes. I'm going to use a pattern. So create a circular pattern like that. And it's going to say, well, what do you want to make your pattern out of? I want, I want to select the objects. That's that line and that line. Uh, select my center point. So if I click here so that I can select my center point like that. And it's given me, what, one, two, three. It's giving me three spokes. I'm thinking I want more than three. I might go, five looks pretty cool, doesn't it? Let's, mm, 
I might go six just to be safe. So click on so OK. You can decide how many you want. Um, and that, that's all. That's my sketch completed now. I don't think I need any more sketch. Um, so I'm just going to actually not finish sketch. I'm going to start extruding. E for extrude, uh, which finishes my sketch and starts an extrude. And I'm going to start by extruding the rim. So if I click on my rim there, and I want my rim to be 30 millimeters, uh, not 30, that's way too big, 15. 15, I want it to be 15. So if I come out like this, you can see yeah, 15 like that. So my rim is going to be 15 deep. And if I click OK, there we go. There's my rim. Let's go back to home. There it is. There's my rim. Uh, now, I need to extrude, extrude the spoke and the hubs and all that sort of stuff. So um, let me just go back into here. I'm going to open the, I'm going to, that sketch there. I'm going to... Um, click on the visibility icon and turn the visibility of that sketch back on again. Let me click somewhere else so I can see what's going on there. So now I can see my sketch again, uh, which is good. That will allow me to do more extrudes. So E for extrude, and let's do the spokes. So I'm going to click on those spokes there, like that, uh, and I'm going to bring them out, oh, I think two millimeters will do, two millimeters. And it's a join extrude. It's done that automatically. OK, like that. D e for extrude again. And now I'm going to select my hub. And my hub's going to come out. I'm thinking... I'm thinking about seven... Uh, maybe even eight. Eight millimeters. So OK, like that. And there we go. There is my wheel. Um, actually, now that's not quite... I'm just going to fix that up a little bit by putting some uh, fillets in. So let's just do, actually, I'll turn that sketch off now. I don't need that sketch anymore. And I'm just going to do some fillets. So I'm going to click on my fillet tool there and move that out of the way. And let's start by doing that one, that one, that one. Fillets just, I mean, apart from looking good, um, they actually make your, they'll actually make a 3D printed object a little bit stronger. Uh, because that's not going to be particularly strong. Actually, let me just do these ones as well. That one. Um, add, yeah, adding fillets just um, removes stress concentrations and makes, you, makes your um, object just a little bit stronger. So if I do some fillets, let's make them, I don't know, let's have a look and see what two, two yeah, two looks pretty good. Let's do that. Okay. And I might even... I could even do some fillets in here. Yeah, I'll do some fillets in here as well. So actually, I'm going to come down here and double click on that fillet. And I'm going to, rather than do another fillet action, I'm just going to add some more fillets here. So click on the plus there. And I'm going to click on that one, that one, that one. Let's see, that one. Can you, you notice I can click through the object? That's pretty handy. Um, oh, I can't see very well there. That one, that one, uh, which ones? That one, that one. This is a bit messy, isn't it? I'm just zooming out and zooming back in so that I can see the right things. Okay, that looks pretty good. And I might do these ones in here in the middle as well while I'm at it. That one. Oh, I'll get that out of the way. Ah, uh, that one, that one, that one. This is a bit messy, isn't it? Okay, I'm just trying to get all of those edge fillets there. And that one, and last one, that one. So if I do all of them, and let's see, what if I do them one millimeter? That looks pretty good. Okay, so if I click OK there, and uh, there we go. I've got all my fillets done. And so that's that'll just strengthen things up a little bit. Okay, so that wheel's ready to 3D print. Now, did you notice with this wheel, um, with the last wheel we did, we sort of made them symmetrical. 
uh, and we made the hub stick out uh, both sides. I didn't do this for a 3D printed wheel because for a 3D printed wheel, wheel, we want one side of the wheel to be completely flat and that's the side that's going to be on the bed when we do our 3D printing. Uh, it's always good to have a, a nice flat surface to print up from. So, so the printer will look, let me just see if I can make it like that, no, like like that yeah okay so that's that that's how it's going to go on the 3d printer with that flat section on the bottom all right um let's um let's export this as an stl for our 3d printer i'm going to go to utilities and i'm going to go make 3d print like that and it's going to say now this is new uh this is not what um fusion used to do but um uh let's let's have a look we want to do i want to do an export um, if I had my slicer installed on this computer, I could do print utility uh, and it would automatically open up my slicer. But at school, you're not going to have that. You're going to have to take your um, STL file to the um, computer over near the 3D printers. So we're going to do an export. So I click on export. We're going to do an export as an STL file. Uh, the object is that one there. Um, and uh, what else do we want to do? That'll do us actually. Click on OK and save as. Let's call it, what do we call it? Um, 3D printable. Oh, that didn't work. 3D printable rear wheel or something like that. Uh, maybe something with your name on it might be useful so that when everybody's got their file on the on the USB stick, uh, you can see which one's yours. So oh, let's do this, Mr. T. All right, um, with a little R. Okay, Mr. T, uh, now save to my computer. So what you're going to do is you'll click on there and, and you'll uh, browse to the D drive for the, you'll stick the USB drive into your computer, click to there, browse to the D drive, and save it on your D drive. Mine's just going to go into, where's it going? Pictures, that's okay. Uh, but save it on the D drive or, or E drive, whatever you, your USB drive is. Click on save, and that's now ready to take to the 3D printer. All right, that'll do. Hope that was helpful.